What's good? We are back. Yours truly, the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, what events, and much, much more. Um, today, I'm going to do things differently. I got guests coming through, so that's why I'm on the couch and got the green screen, because normally I'm in front of my Paul Pickett Podcast banner over here to the left of me and on my computer chair, and we're going to do things a little different. Um, instead of doing the intro, we're going to do an outro and we're going to plug in the sponsor right now and we're going to get into it but we're going to be reacting to social justice warrior steph curry attempts to block low income housing near his 30 million dollar mansion go figure before we do that though let's give you a word from dizzle premium luxury liqueur Everybody talking, talking about, about Dizzle new drink. drink. They, they like, like they like you can Dizzle too. Dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave tequila, French cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Just throw your Dizzle on ice. And it's nice. If you want to order your very own bottle or bottles of Dizzle Premium Luxury Liqueur, go to DizzleBrand.com. Click on our locations. Click on one of the top three website links. I recommend Emilio's Beverage. Must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. Below that is actual locations in California, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Arkansas. Little Rock, here we come. And don't forget, we got the Dizzle Rap Challenge going on. Hosted by Little Rock Obama out of Little Rock, Arkansas. So check that out, Dizzle Rap Challenge. Go to DizzleBrand.com. And we got the merch, Dizzle Brand merch. Go to DizzleBrand.com, click on Merchandise Store, or you can go to Etsy.com and search for Dizzle Brand or go to Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Dizzle Brand. That's Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Dizzle Brand. All right, so let's get into it. Um Social justice warrior Steph Curry attempts to block low-income housing near his $30 million mansion. Go figure. I want to ensure that our kids live in a nation that is safe, happy, healthy, and fair. And so this election... We're voting for Joe Biden. He didn't sound... <laughs> with our daughter... But he didn't... <laughs> He didn't sound like enthusiastic when he said that we're voting for Joe Biden. It sounded like he was just doing what his wife told him to. Let's keep it moving. And we just want to encourage you to truly do your research, think about your own homes and what you'd like to see projected out into the world in the right direction is making sure that you vote this election for Biden. Okay. All right, guys. So we got. Oh, but look, before Greg goes in, because anything that, you know, these Democrats and liberals and far left disagree with, oh, that can't be right. That has to be wrong. Let's keep it moving. I got to talk about an interesting story here that I think really does hypocrisy. show the world, uh, the hypocrisy of liberals Thank when you. it comes to their alleged love for people who are less fortunate, right? Uh, the liberals claim that they're the ones that are for taking care of those who are not rich, okay? They're for the poor, the people living in poverty, right? And everybody must sacrifice to take care of those people, okay? Uh, including the rich, right? This Yeah, you know, I, I posted some on Facebook the other day, and just what he said, like, everybody must sacrifice to take care of those people. It's called survival of the fittest, not support the unfittest. Let's keep it moving. This is what they tell us. This is what they lecture us about when it comes to things like the border, right? They say, well, these people come from countries uh, that are um, corrupt, uh, they're poor, and they're desperate, and they need to come over here to the United States so that they can live, okay, and have a better life. Except uh, what they don't include is that they really only want the illegals to come over here and live in the red states, Facts. right? They want them to live in Facts. red states so that... Um, when they have kids, their kids can be American citizens and then eventually vote Democrat. But as soon as the illegals start to come to other states like blue states, you know, cities like New York City, Washington, D.C., Chicago, they lose their minds. Right. More Despite facts. sanctuary city status. Um, they don't they seem to like uh, illegal immigration too much. Right. And this story right here, again, is a, another example of Democrats not seeming to like being around 
people who are you know less fortunate and not as well off as they are as biden supporter steph curry uh has moved to block low-income housing near his 30 million dollar mansion now again i find this to be a, a very fascinating story because this is not the first time I've, I've heard about this okay um i actually had a conversation at a wedding in charleston south carolina uh, a couple years ago with a guy from boston who told me that liberals in boston right the, the rich <laughs> white ones more specifically um they will openly advocate for uh policies like low income uh or affordable housing okay and you know more affluent neighborhoods or whatever right they will advocate for that stuff but then they will uh put on their signs um to vote against the bill that actually allows that right <laughs> so they'll put the actual real name of the bill on the signs and say hey don't vote for this right don't vote for uh affordable or low-income housing while at the same time saying that hey we support it right but they think that people are too stupid to recognize the actual real name of the bill uh something that they're actually against they don't really like it okay and again this story right here is another example of you know liberals not really living up to the things that they claim that they believe in okay so let's read about this because this is pretty fascinating uh nba star stephen curry who publicly endorsed Joe Biden for president in 2020, is opposing a low-income housing development near his $30 million mansion, according to a local news report. Quote, we hesitate to add to the not-in-our-backyard literally rhetoric, but we <laughs> wanted to send a note before today's meeting. Safety and privacy for us and our kids continue uh, to be our top priority and one of the biggest reasons we choose Athenton as home, Steph and his wife, Alicia Curry, wrote in a letter to officials in Atherton. It was an attempt by Steph Curry, who was the fifth highest paid athlete in the world last year, according to Forbes, to prevent undesirables from crowding the area around his home in Atherton, California. Now, I wonder who these undesirables are, right? Yeah, so basically, you know what, before he finishes, so basically what he's saying is, yeah, I'll go to the hood and um, I might, you know, pass out some food and some meals. But, you know, don't be bringing the hood to, to my backyard it's next to my $30 million mansion. I'll just come to them. Let's keep it moving. I wonder who they are. Yeah, okay? I wonder too. Uh, it won't be hard to guess who Steph Curry and Aisha Curry imagine as undesirables, right? The same people that claim that black lives matter right yep. uh and that we need to do things to help um shrink the wealth gap it doesn't really seem like he's for policies that are designed to do that that are designed to give opportunities to uh you know people who are less fortunate right seems to me that he's looking out for his own wealth because we all know how this works when you start building these uh affordable housing projects uh, near the more affluent neighborhoods well what happens is that you have the undesirables right they come into the neighborhood okay and, and they bring their habits with them uh and then they turn it into the hood right and then housing values plummet Facts. because nobody wants to move in those neighborhoods anymore right uh so everybody basically turns out to be uh less well off as a result of these policies okay and Stephen curry knows that he knows that but again um hypocrites if, at their know, best it comes to other people though right he, he's gonna go out here and advocate oh no no no. uh we need to have affordable housing everywhere right we need to allow these people to live in live among more affluent people right so they can go to the same schools and have the same opportunities and such and such and such but not in his backyard though. not <laughs> around his children not around his kids right your kids yeah sure it's fine. Right? It's uh, perfectly bring the undesirables fine. around your kids right but not around his kids, not around his two daughters, right? He doesn't want anything bad to happen to them, okay? Uh, Atherton is one of the most exclusive communities in the U.S. with Forbes ranking it as... Keyword was exclusive, exclusive. This year. The current yeah, that, that's the thing. The keyword was exclusive. That's why they don't want them in their backyard. They don't want them anywhere near, you know. That's the thing, man. It kill. It's always these rich people that acting like they're social justice warriors and advocates. But they really care only about their selfish wants and their selfish needs. 
Let's keep it moving. Family also petitioned the local government to build fencing and shrubbery around their <laughs> home to protect the family from watchful eyes if they couldn't block the new families from joining wow. the entirely. <laughs> wow. Okay. So basically what they said is that, look, if y'all move forward with letting the undesirables uh, into our neighborhood anyways, y'all need to make sure that you build fencing yeah, we're safe. and shrubbery to make sure that nobody can uh, see us you know, come into my home. They can't be watching, looking out what I'm doing. Again, checking out my daughters, right? I don't want that around me, okay? Uh, again, absolutely hilarious. I thought these people love the poor. Right? You know, I thought what the problem is, is they live in a rich, entitled bubble. Let's keep it moving. Uh, these people love the less fortunate. I'm trying to figure out why Steph Curry doesn't want to live around more black folks. Right? This is what I'm trying to figure out. Because, hey, what they tell us is that black people are disproportionately living in poverty, right? And that these type of policies, again, help black folks out. This is this is how they frame it. So don't get mad at me for assuming that Steph Curry doesn't want to live around black folks, okay? Because they tell us that, again, it doesn't sound like an assumption based on this article. Are affected by this type of stuff, okay? So don't blame me. Blame the wokes and their rhetoric. I'm just using their rhetoric. Um, quote, uh, should that not be sufficient for the state? We ask that the town commits to investing in considerably tall fencing and landscaping to block site onto our family's property. Wow. <laughs> wow. Council member Damn, Rick, uh, the Golia the same thing has did. reportedly said that, quote, it's not possible to build low income housing in Atherton since uh, land is worth about eight million per acre oh yeah it is possible it's 100 percent oh, possible it, right you yeah just, you know what let me stop right there it's not possible you know the thing is one thing i realized except for us building the rebuilding pyramids like the egyptians anything's fucking possible <laughs> when it comes to mankind i mean anything is possible man with cats like elon and jeff bezos of the world i mean at one time, we could only just shoot rockets up in the sky, into space, and land them in the water. Now we're getting to the point where we can shoot rockets up into space and land them right back exactly where the hell they took off from. Anything's possible except building the pyramids, apparently, or rebuilding the pyramids because they've been built before, but we just can't figure out how to do them again. Let's keep it moving. I don't want to. Okay, but it's yeah, exactly. Possible, they don't want right? to. If you're really about that life, if you're really about redistribution of wealth, right? <laughs> Redistribute the wealth, right? Then you know, just get a get a you know the undesirables that land for free, right? Give them to them at a discount, right? Since y'all about it, but see again, they're never about it when it comes to them. Okay, never about it. Curry is one of the highest profile Democrats in the country. In 2020, he bought his family to endorse a Biden for president at the Democrat National Convention, during which Aisha referenced social injustices and racial inequality. Yeah, that she's so never like experienced totally in her life. Social injustices and racial inequality uh, when it comes to protecting their own family, right? This year, Stephen Curry uh, did a photo op with the president in a picture captured team uh, captains. Curry is one of the uh, captains of the NBA team, the Golden State Warriors. His team joined him at the White House for a press event on uh, January 17th. That became awkward after Biden <laughs> dropped to one knee in front of the team. <laughs> Listening gaps. Oh Let's watch gosh. this. Look at this clown. Look at this clown. He think this, he think this, this look good. <laughs> right? He think this look good. Right, he 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 think this makes him woke. Right, he's he's trying to get brownie points for this. He looks like a damn fool. He, you know what? I've heard enough. I mean, this is the same cat that was sitting there saying Brittany Griner was wrongfully detained when she clearly broke Russian laws, which are far more um like. The, the consequences of some of those breaking those Russian laws are far worse over there than they are here, you know, and it still has not been decriminalized in America yet. It's still not decriminalized. It's still not legalized on a national scale, but, you know, she was wrongfully detained. So what do we expect from a cat that just spews nonsense and complete horseshit and bullshit you know, for millions of people to watch, you know, um, 
I'm ashamed to say Steph Curry's a North Carolinian right now. I mean, yeah, he was born in Akron, where LeBron was born, but I'm pretty sure he he claims North Carolina because he because he was raised in Charlotte. But we sure as hell ain't claiming him. Um, we got Lamelo. We're good to go. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in, Paul Pickett Podcast.